If you're a photographer that's never designed an album before or are frustrated designing it in other software, I'm going to show you how to design a wedding or portrait album in five minutes. And not only that, the next time you do it, you'll be even faster. Let's jump into Fundy Designer V11. I'll show you how to do it, and it's super easy. When Fundy Designer opens up, you will want to click Start New Project. Name the project, and then choose the location of the project. Now you want to create a new project for every client event. So Johnson Wedding and Johnson Engagement Session will be two different events. Then click Create Project, choose Import Photos. Now we will import all of the photos and create smaller proxy images so that Fundy Designer runs super fast. And then when we click export to export the design and order it, we will use the full resolution files. Next, I highly recommend using the one click retouching because it's super light and super beautiful and it makes your clients look great without overdoing it. Next, choose the type of shoot, wedding, engagement, graduation. Don't worry too much about the size of the album because I'm going to show you how to change that later in a couple clicks. So for the wedding, we'll design an album, some wall art, some thank you cards, and a slideshow. Click auto design. Now we've designed an album, wall art, thank you cards, and slideshow. You can open them, check them out now. Let's go ahead and open the album. Now remember, if you want to access anything else, whether that's online proofing, the wall art, cards, slideshow, it's right up here at the top. First thing, let's go ahead and click edit that album size. You can go up to the print company. You can choose any print company in our database, right? We have all of these print companies. Next, you can choose the album line. You can choose the size of the album and the cover type. Now, notice when we click save, the whole album has been redesigned with the different size, and we didn't have to redesign anything. Now I'm going to drop a photo up into the cover here, and let's go ahead and redesign this page. We can click this shuffle button, or we can click here and check out the different designs. So I like this design. Now we can double click on that design, and let's go ahead and resize this a little bit this way by just grabbing the drop zone. The blue line is our center page. Now let's go ahead and grab this and we'll adjust the crop here, here, and here. And remember, you can grab in between here and make any adjustments. So that's how you adjust the album design. Once that album is finished, under the export menu, you can export for print. Uh, you can create a design proof for the uploads, export as a number of different items, and you can even save templates as a design set. Now let's go ahead and show you how to change your defaults for your albums and wall art, etc. Click Design Wizard, and then under here we have Here's the album company, Red Tree Albums, album. So this is the album we just chose. Now let's go up to wedding and let's click save. And now we have overwritten that default. In addition, let's say you have a big album for your top package and a smaller album for your lower package. You can create a new preset and save as many as you want. And then next time you see that design for me, you'll see that your Red Tree album has been saved as the default with no gallery cards and slideshow. Let's exit out of that, go to Design Wizard. We're going to see that. Now, let's say you want to have some design that sell wall art templates. And let's say you also want to offer thank you cards. And let's say you want to offer a slideshow. And we have some default slideshows, for example, a wedding album IPS slideshow. Now, let's make that our wedding preset. Let's close that, Design For Me opens up, and everything is in there. So that's how the Design For Me works. That's how you can design an album right from the start, even though you have no idea what you're doing and get something really beautiful. And then next time you use it, 
you can save out your design for me preset so that it designs what you want every single time in just a click. If you'd like more tips and tricks how to design faster and how to get more power out of Fundy Designer, be sure to click like and subscribe and we'll keep bringing you valuable content without the sales fluff.